So uh, we're sitting now in the Carleton University Art Gallery, which is uh, a public art gallery on campus. And uh, the exhibition is called Uprising, the Power of Mother Earth, a retrospective uh, by Christy Belcourt with Isaac Murdoch. Christy Belcourt is a Métis artist residing in Northern Ontario. Working alongside with Isaac Murdoch, they're spreading their messages throughout all of Canada, leaving an effect like ripples throughout the water. Uh, well, one thing that uh, I've been um, thinking and talking about a lot when um, school groups come in um, is the way that Christy wants us to really think critically about the spaces that we learn in and the, and the people that we learn from. So this painting actually, it's based around water and water protectors and a lot of the elders. Um, one of the elders, she just passed away and she had actually walked around all the Great Lakes like many times to do ceremony for the water. And uh, so this is why this particular painting is really, it's current, like it's also part of a lot of the news in uh, those indigenous communities. That elder was from uh, Wikwe Mekong. Because everything is so current, like it's, you can take this exhibit on many levels. Uh, after, if we see the different banners from the different um, like current issues about water and the pipelines and also about um, making sure that um, Indigenous children can stay in their extended families and um, in their communities because uh, every day in Canada some Indigenous children, especially, I mean in all provinces but especially in places like Manitoba are taken away from their families every day. So it's um, it's all relevant right now. So I'm not really an artsy person, but this has definitely like kind of had an impact. It's very interesting, like what, because you kind of just look at art and you see like, oh, it's these nice colors. It's a cool thing. Like that's how I usually see it anyways. But this one, like it's, it's actually had like a deeper message, I guess. I think if like anyone who would walk through and you don't have to read the whole full descriptions, but if you're, looking for a theme, definitely resilience. It's not just about like what we see as like, oh, First Nations are undergoing a lot of challenges and it's sad and it's like, people use the word tragic. Like these different, like this artist particularly, she's not there to perform tragedy for non-Indigenous people. She's there to show like the resilience and the lush nature and all the details about um, the flowers and the weeds and the animals are really there to sh talk about the people and the resilience and the, the connection that everyone can learn about and support. For ACTV, I'm Jenna Drover.